is a 18, 19 year old girl at the time for y'all? Like, what did you guys benefit off of her? And I know that in a previous live, you guys were like, um, if you, I think somebody had asked if you guys had the same um, attitude when y'all were younger mm -hmm. as Olivia, and then you guys were like, hell no, type shit. I think I have the video saved. Mm -hmm. um, so do y'all feel like you, Sean and Cindy, do y'all feel like y'all see a younger version of y'all self in mm -hmm. Olivia? No. Right. So at that time, you know, like what kind of asset mm -hmm. could she be? And she doesn't, you know, have certain skills as you proceeded to say in the video. Well, I think that question would be better suited for my love because he added her. But yeah, but you guys are in a relationship together. I'm not in a relationship with Olivia. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the question's for Sean then. But to clarify, in regards to me and Olivia, like, we have sisterhood, we have support. Mm hmm So before, you know, while they were talking and stuff, did he bring up that they were talking, that they was, like, getting to that point of, in that relationship? Mm hmm At what point? What do, you, what do you mean, at what point? At what point in the relationship did you realize that Olivia was going to be there? Like you want a point in time? Mm hmm When I was on deployment. Right. And how far along was their relationship at that time? I'm sorry. What? How far along was Sean and Olivia's relationship while you were on deployment? It at wasn't. What age were they in? It, oh, okay. It wasn't throughout the entire deployment. I was on deployment for about five months, and this was near the end of my deployment. So did Olivia know, like, you and Sean were, like, a thing before they got into whatever they were getting into? That would be a question for Olivia. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Oh, perfect. Long time, sister. I'm okay. here. Oh, did you hear the question, or would you like me to repeat it? Can you repeat it, please? No problem. So when, um, you know, they were in their relationship, did you know about her in the beginning when you and Sean were starting your relationship? Yes. But you said in another live, and I believe I have that video as well, that you didn't know anything about them until she got back from deployment. Yeah, that's my fault. Could have been more clear. What I meant was that within the two weeks we were not dating, um, I didn't know what terms they were on. That's what I'm trying to say. But obviously once we got together, I started to, well, near the end of that first two weeks, that's when he started like mentioning. No, if he was for what? sure. I didn't know if he was for sure. Like, I didn't know what terms they were on in their relationship. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, they were just dating. I didn't know if they were exclusive. I didn't know what they were. No, I didn't that, know like, they were together. I didn't know that even though they were together the second time I came here. Um, I definitely did not know they were together when I came here and Janice was on deployment. So I was just kind of like, I don't know. Maybe it happened. Maybe, you know, maybe they are still together. Maybe they're not. Um, I didn't really know. So how, like, you know, like, this went on for a minute. This clip is three minutes long. So, you know, how did you manage to keep up that mistake for that long? You know, like, me personally, if I know I'm stating something and I make a mistake, I'd be like, wait, hold on. I mean, like, you know, and then I carry on with the truth. You feel me? But you carried on with the lie and I'm confused. <laughs> No, it's just I misspoke. Um, I didn't tell the exact, like, specific, like, intricate, week-by-week -week details of it. Um, but I could have said more on that statement. But to clarify on the statement now, I can't fix what was in the past, but I can fix, you know, I can clarify what's going on, is that mm -hmm. within the two weeks, this is what happened. And within the two weeks, we weren't dating at all. I remember us being like, bye, have a good night. And we would just go in separate ways. And for the fr first two weeks, I was time? just like, what? How old were you at that time? 
I'm I was nineteen. Um, but anyways, and you met when you uh, guys were eighteen. Yes. Not you guys. Sorry, when you were eighteen. Um. So how long did that Wait, period of time between story, eighteen though? and nineteen did you start speaking to him in a romantic way? I never spoke to him romantically when I was eighteen. That's I not what I asked. I asked in between the time of you being eighteen and nineteen. At what point did you start speaking to him in a romantic way? Okay, so July twenty twenty one. I think that's when we th that's when we first DM'd, and that was after right after the LinkedIn phone call. Literally the next day, um, he DM'd me on it. Well, he answered on my story. Um, basically, I was looking for a coach, a specific coach, and he was she was he was like, I know somebody. And that was the first DM. It was strictly about business, July 2021. Um, and when we got together, like when we actually became a couple, was August 2022. Um, okay. <laughs> so my next question is um, for all you guys. It's what was your mother's marital status and was your parents in healthy relationships while during your childhood? My parents are married. Is it like a healthy relationship between the two? Yes. Okay. Olympia. I have two like separate marriages, but they're Okay. Um my mom is married and and my dad is not. Mm -hmm. What kind of, like, man would you say your father was? Because I know my dad was the play out here, okay? My daddy did his thing out here, all right? What kind of, you know, how would you describe your dad? I think I think he was, he's definitely a great um, guy. He's a great person. And I think he's definitely developed a lot as a person. Um you know, he's had a past, I would say, but I don't think that, like, determines who he is right now as a person. I think he's great. I have nothing bad to say about him, really. Cool, cool. Um, Sean? Uh, yeah, my dad was a great guy, wasn't he? I just seen a video, too, mm -hmm. up for you, Sean. Um, it was, like you said, that... They put you in a foster home. Sure. Um, why? It says that you was the only one that, you know, went to that state of living. Why was that? Because I know my mom, like, my mom sent me to the Caribbean to be raised because she thought that was better for me. I could say that's my situation. I got, I got lucky. How? Got put in a better situation. Okay. Um, the other live, like two days ago, maybe, or Saturday, I believe, you said that you answered this, this therapist girl. You know, she was up here and she was asking you questions, but you responded to her saying that Shanice gained a whole lot of followers at, on TikTok after you guys, um, you know, became a couple, whatever the case may be. Do you not feel as though both these women would have been successful with or without you with the potential they already hold? But neither one of them needed me. Like, I would, like of course, they would have been successful without me. Right. I just, I, feel, I just feel like it happened a lot faster with me and with us being together. Like, I will never take that away from them. Mm -hmm. I believe that. And I, I don't doubt nobody's potential at all. You know, we're all destined for great things. But the way, like, you use that a lot. Like you use them gaining the followers while y'all were in the relationship as a rebuttal to a lot of things. I believe I have a clip in here too, but I don't think I need to play it, you know. What's your point? My point is, do you feel that way? Do you feel I like- feel, I still feel that way. I tell you like this, if people make, if I say you make $50,000, right? Mm -hmm. a year, it's, you're gonna make a million dollars. It's just gonna take you 20 years to do it. If you make $50,000 a year, you're going to make a million dollars. Now, if I come and teach you instead of how to make a million dollars in 20 years, I teach you how to do it in one, would you say that that was valuable? Yes or no? 
Yeah, it's valuable. All right. Did you need, hold on. Did you need, did you need me to make that's you? A whole different nah, different hold on. Hold on. Well, that's a whole different you didn't, Hold on. You didn't hold need on, me Olivia. to make. You didn't need me to make a billion dollars. But I showed you how to do it faster. So that is like extremely, extremely, extremely valuable. Um, all right. <laughs> I noticed that you like really like dance around questions rather than answering them straightforward. I think you just don't like the answer down the rabbit hole and you guys aren't used to getting outfoxed by somebody that you perceive as like, um, not to be that smart. I know I come across as like dumb, but I, think I you never guys, questioned your intelligence. You guys try to ask me leading questions, and then you get smoked, and then you get outfoxed, and then you guys get you upset. Ain't that's exactly thing. what happens. But that's not what I asked you. That wasn't the question. But that's what happens. I don't avoid any questions. You guys just cut people off. I don't avoid anything. I answer every single question. I you guys this Did I not? Did I not? And then you you invite people up here to ask questions. You know, and I when I first them. and then when you don't get the answers that you want, you guys get upset. It's not that we're not getting the answers that we want; it's that you don't really answer anything. All right, tell me what question I avoided that you asked tonight. Let me go into clips. Hold on. No, I'm not asking you about clips. I'm asking you about what question I asked you. That the question I, I just asked that. you. What do you mean? You What's just, the question? You, that you just answered with answer, freaking I'm money. Answer right. You answered answer with right you now. answered what's with money question? and statistics, and that had nothing to do with what I was what's asking. The, what's you. the question? That's what's not question? what I was asking you. I asked, "Would they so have been now successful?" Now I'm trying to answer your question. Would they have been successful without you, in your personal opinion? That was the question. Let me, let me make this. What do the numbers have to do with anything? Let me make it. About how much you make and how much they make off of you. That's not what I asked. Let me you answer. You keep responding to the questions right, right, right. with. Wait, hold on, because I'm not done. You keep right. responding to the questions with, well, you know, they gained this amount of followers while they were with me. You don't say, oh, they gained this amount of money while they were with me. They gained this. Keep playing them. But I'm saying you're not answering the question and you never have. Okay, so just so we can be perfectly clear, can you ask your question so I can give you a direct answer? Would you say that Shanice and Olivia would have been successful without you? And if so, why is that the first thing you bring up when somebody asks a question about their success? Yes, they would have been successful without me. I feel like, in my opinion, I helped them do it faster. Does that answer your question? Yes, that's all I wanted. That's all I okay, wanted. Okay, well, that's I told you. You just refused to listen to it. But you dragged it on and danced around it for no reason. Listen, man. I, listen, bro. Like, I, came, yeah. I came from a very open family. We're yeah, able another, to communicate. Yeah, question. Listen, listen, we got people with real questions. I'm not trying to like... So from my point of view, so from my point of view, after watching y'all from all this time, you know, you basically state that you're building off the backs of these women while restricting their abilities. And, you know, I don't understand what's exactly making them stay with someone who's so comfortable with sheltering their abilities. <laughs> The first, yeah, do that shit. Yeah, you mad. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I answered her questions. Y'all let me know. I, I felt like I answered every question that she asked me. Mm hmm. We want people with real questions, man. Listen, real you have to do questions. We got a lot of people here, man. A lot of people be trying to get up here. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jasmine, you're coming on. Jasmine. I feel like people be kind of here looking for friendship. They just be wanting to kick it. Hey. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like a FaceTime call. Hello, Jasmine. Hi. Send me the camera. Huh? Send me the, the thing so I can. Yeah, we sent it to you. I sent it to you. Do you did you get it? I'm trying. Hold on. You see me? Uh no, not yet. You have to press the three dots and then um turn the camera on. Um, and then press the camera on and then press save. What a three dot six. 
Good question. I could not tell you right now. <laughs> um, yeah, just boot her. Come on. Okay. Let's get somebody else up here. If you can't find three dots on the screen, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> um, ooh, this person has an amazing profile picture. Hi. Hi, kitty cat. Hello. Hi, can you turn your camera oh. on, please? Okay, yeah. Am I? Okay, yeah, I'll do. She looks like a model. She's giving model vibes. Oh, she just hopped off, lols. She's like, okay, I'm ready to get on camera. Hops off. <laughs> The ultimate clickbait. Pretty we mojo. Get we get yeah. Hello? Hello, pretty mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I look rough. Um it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I look rough, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta turn the camera on, pretty mojo. Oh, okay. We gotta I sent you the um camera request. See. Okay. Hey y'all. Got you. <laughs> you do not look rough, girl. I Dude, look you're crazy, just wearing a y'all. Bonnet. No, you're just wearing a bonnet. Baddie's yeah. wearing a bonnet. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, had a long day. What, what, um, what's your name? My and name, where are you from? My name is Jordan. Um, I was born in Virginia, raised in Georgia. <laughs> um, the first time awesome. I saw you guys, I was like scrolling down my timeline. I saw y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so laughing? It reminds me of me. I'm very goofy. I'm 21. <laughs> okay, y'all. I got some good questions, you guys. Um, you mad at me, Sean? <laughs> I got some good questions, you guys. Okay, okay. I want to know, what's y'all favorite color? All of y'all. Emerald. Emerald, okay. Orange. Orange. What about you, Sean? Purple. Okay, okay. Um, Shanice, what's your rate? I'm a Corman. Oh, oh wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's your guys' biggest fear? I'm the first. Letting my letting people that down that are counting on me. Something that I don't like. Mm -hmm. I like to be dependable. That I like from my loved ones and. People that do business with me to feel like they can count on me is very, 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 very important to know that um, people around me can count on me. Mm. Never want to feel like I'm letting them down. Oh. Okay, okay. What about you, um, you guys? Uh, not being there in someone's time of need. Mm. Okay. Okay. What about mm. you, Olivia? Just like, mm, not, I don't know, like not, not living, not having my potential, okay. not using my, my greatest abilities. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how do you guys feel about lust? Um, do y'all believe that's a like very powerful thing? Yeah, lust. Like, you know how you can lust over someone? Do you guys think that you guys are just lusting over each other right now? Or lust it's good? Is what did you say, Shanice? I, feel so. mm -hmm. I think lust is a distraction. Um, and dang, they bursting. <laughs> it's, it's so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, girl, we all get there. Intimacy is a lot more important than uh, physical pleasure. Okay. Okay. So, so do you guys believe in God or like, no? No? 
I'm really confused. Are you when you ask a question, is it for all of us? Yeah, all for us? all of you guys. Yeah, I'm not. Right. Um, targeting so, what anything. do you think is lust? What do you think of lust? What do I think of lust? Yeah. Um, I think it's very common, but I don't think that's like is improves a relationship <clears throat> at all. Mm -hmm. I think it's not a good place to lead with. Okay, that's okay. That's good. What about you, Sean? Mm, I think lust is a beautiful thing. I think it's a healthy part of a relationship. I don't think you should have relationships solely based on lust. But I know I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with somebody I didn't lust after. I think that'd be weird. Mm. Do you know like the difference between lusting and desiring a person, though? Yeah, I feel like one is superficial and desire. I would. I feel like it would be like deeper. I would hope that it would be deeper. So right now in your situation, do you feel like you lust them or do you desire them? Like, do you have a desire? I don't think it's either of those things. I mean, I think both of them are very attractive, but honestly, where I'm at in this situation, what this thing has taught me is that I don't feel like I can really be married to any like woman. I feel like I can only be married to my mission. And I just want to align myself with people that actually fit my mission and actually believe in me and actually want to do epic and great things. People may come, people may go, but my mission will stay the same. And as long as you know I'm married to my mission, I feel like everything will fall into place. The people that are supposed to be around will be, and the people that won't, they won't. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Um, what about the God thing? Do you guys believe in God, or uh, we could start with Shanice? Do you believe in God? Yes. Okay. What about you, Olivia? Yes. What about you, Sean? Of course. Of course. Okay. Okay. So, can I ask you guys what what's your what's the mission, Sean? Like the biggest mission? I mean, I've heard on your lives, like you said, um, like to create the biggest and most powerful family. Is that the mission? Kinda. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think that I am. Um, you know. Yeah. It's just my mission to to build the most beautiful, powerful family America's ever seen. And just do the most good for the community that America's ever seen. Because we're going to need leaders. I think we're about to go into really, really tough times. And I think things are only going to get tougher. And um, I feel like the world's in a lot of darkness and we need a little bit of light. So we don't claim to be perfect, but I definitely do want to shine a light uh, into the in, darkness. In the dark places. Yeah, that comes from the Bible. So do you guys feel like you take certain pieces from the Bible and leave the others inside of the Bible? I think everybody does that. Yeah. Mm, so you, you basically take your own personal interpretation of the Bible, pretty much. Mm. I think at least we have our own interpretation rather than somebody else's interpretation, because most people just listen to what they're told instead of like reading and deciding for themselves. Okay. So for the people in the comments that are saying like everyone takes their per own personal interpretation, um, in the Bible, if you if you read the Bible, um, it says if any man takes from this book or puts in this book, they will be punished. They will be dealt with. So I don't know what y'all talk about. Um, <laughs> next question. Um, Olivia. What did you think that you telling us that is like your interpretation of something that you read in the Bible? No, it's, it comes straight from the Bible. I didn't make that up. That's not a personal okay. interpretation. So then how do we interpret it? It's just like words. Somebody has to interpret it, right? No. Well, okay. Listen, man, this is this is all I'm gonna tell you is that okay. you know I don't have nothing against the Bible or nothing mm -hmm. like that. But you know, when we was in Africa, you know, people came to our land and we had the land and they had the Bible, and then they told us to bow our heads. And when we woke up, they had the land and we had the Bibles in our hands. So it's just so funny how people hate everything about slavery except Christianity. And it's just like you guys don't even study where we come from. You guys are not open to other things. You guys are just this one thing that was just forced upon us. We're the only people that literally had everything stripped away from us. The way we talk, the way we do religion, the way all of that. We had everything stripped from us, even our names. Look at our last names. Mm -hmm. Adams is my last name. People, Williams. Like, like, like everything's been stripped away from us. And it's just so funny how we never go and actually seek the truth for ourselves. We just blindly accept mm -hmm. what people like told us. I just mm -hmm. think that's really funny how that works. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. 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 I see your point. Um, let's let's move on. Um, what's your what's your guys' favorite part of like your body personally, not of each other's body, but of your body? Like, what's something that you'd be like, oh my gosh, I love this about myself? <laughs> my clavicle. <laughs> your clavicle. That's why I laugh. That's funny. Cause I feel the same way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we... My favorite body part, believe it or not, is actually my nose. I feel like it's where I get my superpowers from. Okay. <laughs> okay. Confidence. That's why he calls you out so much, guys. <laughs> oh, we. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, I have like. Oh, okay. I got two more questions, and I'm done. Do you guys have like nicknames, or do you guys just be called by your first name? <laughs> I'd be like, hey, yo, bitch. They're going to clip that up real good. They're going to um, clip that one up. Uh, they're going to cancel you for that one for the 50th time. Anyways, um, no, we don't have nicknames for each other. I mean, I call mm. him obviously my king. Um, okay. But I really, the reason why I laughed is because I found it funny when that girl came up here and she was like, Nisi! Mm. Nisi! I was like, who the heck is this girl? I've never heard that. But I think it's cute. Oh, okay. Thanks for my love. You do? Okay. Oh, they kind of a little spicy, huh? A little nice. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. When's your um? When's your contract up again, um, Shani? In a year. Okay. Oof, girl, I'm about to get out the navy. Woo! Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, somebody that told me to ask you guys, like, um. I know it seems like you guys have read the Bible a little bit, but um, someone told me to ask you guys, like, what's your favorite Bible verse? If you guys could think of something on top of your head. I don't have one. You don't have one? Okay. Shining light into the world. Um, I think that's Matthew 5, 6, 5 16. Okay. <laughs> What about you, Olivia? I don't really know the Bible like that, to be honest. Okay, okay. This is my last question, because obviously these people in the comments, they just want somebody to come up here and go crazy. Like, dang. <laughs> it's like a lot of people in the comments, they're like mad. But like, what makes you better when y'all talking down on people? Like, that's wild to me. Like. Well, that's that's crazy. just because people in the comments don't have any, they don't feel good about their lives. So the, the only yeah. thing they can do is tear other people down mm -hmm. to make themselves feel better about themselves. That's it. Yeah, it seemed like it. Because, geez. Uh, of, of course, me personally, I wouldn't do poly, obviously, um, for personal reasons. You know you what I'm saying? No. <laughs> are, are you having sex right now? No, I'm not. Uh, you abstinent? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Keep that up. Thanks. <laughs> okay, last question, then I'm gonna go because these females is crazy on this lap. Okay, who do you guys consider? Okay, think a little dip like wider when I ask this question. Okay, okay, just like a little wider because it's gonna tell like the live like a lot about you guys. So, okay, who do you consider your king? Yes, Torio. Ask this question. Who do you consider your king? The Lord. Okay, okay. That was I literally okay, so what do you mean by that? Because you're saying <laughs> think, so you're saying think wider, but uh, well, she asked yeah. actually a very simple question. So like who's your yeah. king? Like who do you think is your king? This is my king. <laughs> Ooh. What's so funny about this, this okay. is the funniest thing. The Bible yeah. says, and I don't know where it says this, but it says women shall submit to their husbands the same way the man should submit to the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that it says that. And people act like submission is a bad thing. It's very interesting to hear her answer, but honestly, that doesn't really like surprise me. Yeah. Submission is actually also like a really good thing to your husbands, but y'all aren't married yet. So it's like, mm, we're dang, like y'all are submitting, <laughs> but y'all not married. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off. I just wanted to ask those few questions. I ain't on no extra drama, like.
everybody be asking the same questions when they get up here. So I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Well, thank y'all. <laughs> thank you. I don't know how to leave though. I ain't gonna. Cut. I got Miss <laughs> Mojo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Even when they try to turn us against each other, that's my favorite thing about you. That you have. Even when they try to turn us against each other. Definitely can. Can't say this. Hollywood. That's a pretty cool name. <laughs> Hollywood. Bring you on. Okay. You up here making origami. <laughs> well, me, yeah. No, literally well, me too. I was babe, like, babe, like that's, a, that's, a, that's something, um, babe, why did you feel like, did you feel like she was trying to trick you with that? No. Oh, no. No, I was just like, King, like, I I know what she wanted me to answer. She wanted me to answer God, but I'm yeah. like, yeah. that's different. No, that, that's different. different. <laughs> that's like different. Um, yeah, so. Let's bring up the likes to a milli. Double tap, double tap, double tap. A milli is too easy. A milli 1. 1.1, 1. 1. 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. 1.2 1. and 6,000 shares. 1.2 million likes and then 6,000. 6,000 shares. Double tap that screen, y'all. 1.2 million likes. Such a nice one. She actually got it. She's So, you know, look at me as you can. So they want to keep it. Okay. 1.2 million likes. And then 6,000 shares. Bet. I bet you might do that. I bet you like to switch your answers up. Like you like to get them off the line. They might go on. That's not really cute. Ooh, we got 100,000. More likes. We got a hundred more shares. I think we got four to five thousand people in here. Thank you for joining. Thank you for one point two million. I wouldn't say if somebody asked me, I'll put it to you like this. If somebody asks me who's my queen, I'm not gonna be and they was like choose wisely. I'm not gonna be like, oh you're right, like my woman's not my queen. Like you know what I mean? Like no matter what. Like even though they could be like, oh, that's like a false like deity or whatever, like Yeah. You know, like if you say, hey, y'all my queen. Nobody no outside influence is gonna like change that. For me personally. <laughs> different shows, different folks. Somebody said you're not God. I never said I was God. She didn't ask who's your God. She said who's your king. So my thing is just like I appreciate truth and transparency and like uh, and transparency and like authenticity. That's the things that I like. I don't I don't like if somebody else can come and like affect the dynamics of my relationship. That's weird. It just proves like somebody's like disloyal to me. It looks like a sign of like disloyalty. Guys, and it's it's okay to have like a disagreement. Like it's it's not a bad thing. And that, that's like the extent of our disagreements, like whatever you can confront, you can like handle. For me, it's just being transparent. To me, it made me uncomfortable because I know like outside of here, she refers to me as her king. So somebody else asked her that and they were like, yes. It's so funny though, because if I was to reverse it and be like, hey, this is my queen, nobody has a problem with that. Like, why is that? So they can be my queen, but I can't be their king. Make that make sense. If I, if I was to, if somebody asked me, who's your queen? And I was like, oh, not them. Like, uh, I don't know, the Virgin Mary. Y'all yeah. would look at me and be like, that's weird, right? So it's just, it's just one of those things. It's, it, I feel like it should go like both ways. Like, 
And if you didn't, like, you married your king, that's cool, but I'm saying, like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with, like, somebody that I couldn't view as, like, my queen. You know, and I don't think women should be in a relationship with somebody that they don't view as a king. If you're going to call yourself a queen, why wouldn't you be with a king? Please make that make sense. See, the thing about society is they try to, like, humble us and they try to, like, make us forget where we come from. Half of y'all forget that y'all got royal blood mm. running through y'all veins. Mm. Listen, why do y'all think that us as, like, black people always got to have the best everything? Mm. Why, why do you think we got to have the best everything? Why we got to have the best clothes, the best shoes, the best cars, the best everything? Bro, it's in our blood mm. to have the best. We're used to it. No matter how society tries to beat us down, no matter how society tries to strip us away, like, bro, it's in our blood. We have greatness in our blood. And I'm not saying we're better than anybody. I'm just saying where we come from, we come from a lineage of royalty. And see, this is the thing. Women, I feel like women need to empower their man. There's nothing wrong with that. Society's going to try to tear your man down. Black man, if you're listening, mm -hmm. you guys are kings. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, bro. Period. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. And there's nothing wrong with asking your woman, hey, do you not view me as a king? There's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't mean you're better than them. That's not what I'm saying. Because mm -hmm. like, they're queens as well. Mm -hmm. You understand? But don't let anybody belittle you. Don't anybody let anybody tell you your worth. It's a reason why you got to have the freshest clothes. It's the reason why you got to have the freshest car, the freshest, the freshest everything. Mm -hmm. It's in our blood to want the best. Mm -hmm. No matter what they try to do to y'all. They can sit up here and try to tell y'all to be humble and suppress yourself and do all that. Bro, no. It's in your blood, man. It's literally in your blood. So Period. that's just my two cents on it. I know I'm going to catch a lot of heat for that. But like I said, guys, I'm never here to be liked by you guys. I'm here to be raw, truthful, and transparent. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's that. Mm -hmm. That's that's that. Shanice, you want to add anything? No, sir. No? You got nothing to say? No. You sure? Yeah. There you go. You got a chance. Yeah, you um, I just thought when the king thing, like I agree, um, I think one of like the, honestly, the greatest thing is family and also like a woman's submission to, you know, the person that's going to bring life into this world. Like that's something that you should honor. That's something that you should honor. And, um, that's basically that. So. That was that was kind of new for you. I appreciate your support. Okay. All right, we're gonna bring the next guest. Yes, up. we got one point three million likes. Thank y'all for the double tapping. Um, shape the bias sosa. Diamond Ramirez. We're gonna bring you up, Diamond Ramirez. Okay, hello? I think she's sleeping. I think she's sleeping. Okay. Um, let's see. Braddy Jossie Ray Nikki Monroe Ooh The Crotch Fruit Lady What? That's an interesting name <laughs> Hello Nikki Hello. N Hi. Can you, speak? Can you hear me? Hi. 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 Can you turn your camera on, girl? Yes, I am. Hold on. Awesome. It says turn on camera. Okay. It's like this, I think. Can you see it? Or no? Uh, not yet, girl. You gotta like press the three dots. Oh, oh, it's the same, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Yes. 
Hi, beloved. Hey, love. What's your name and where are you from? So I'm Nikki and I'm from Texas. You're from Texas? Mm Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what's yeah. the first thing you saw from us? Like, first piece of content? Was it like a clip from... Hold on, the connection just kind of went out. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Let's um, see. So, yeah, the first thing I saw was... It was clips of everything. And then I started, like, tuning into the lives. Mm-hmm. Because, I don't know, they're just kind of entertaining at this point. <laughs> you know? What clip did you watch? What was, <laughs> do you remember the first clip you watched of us? What was it like? Um, I think it was just like they were talking about how you guys were in a poly relationship, but um, like you guys were not together. Like you and um, Shanice were not together. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, like I feel like everyone's just asking like really, really cool questions, but I don't know, like. Whenever I'm on, like, it just kind of, like, I understand social media. I understand the likes and clicks and views. I get it. I love it. That being said, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't really give that you, you said you and Shanice are, like, friends, like, besties, or no? Yeah, we're friends. I mean, okay. obviously, you know, you need to develop a relationship. And, like, mm-hmm. we haven't known each other for that so mm-hmm. and just to clarify how long have you guys known each other so known of each other um sure. is is 2021 i came out here in december that's the first time i met her we didn't really stay in contact as much mm-hmm. um but because like you know there she, she she's busy i was busy i'm running a business she's in the military like um, so yeah, we didn't stay really connected, but we did have a really great connection. Um, and then when I came back, when you say it was a good connection, like a really great connection, what, what do you mean by that? Like how, how did you guys connect? I mean, we have a lot of similarities. We're both vegan. We were in the same lip gloss. We have the same interests. Mm-hmm. We both go to the gym. We both, um, care about wellness and like a lot of things. Yeah. So, <laughs> a lot of the same things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so with after that connection, it was you guys you had left and went back to where you were from and then you came back and you did the one way ticket thing and now we're here. Is that what it is? Say that again? You did the one way ticket thing back and then that was like now it's just here. Yeah. Like, what what to- happened with that? Like when you, when Shanice was on uh deployment like how how did like what what did, what was that conversation like like was there any animosity or was it just straight love it wasn't, it wasn't that much conversation because of my lack of leadership i failed to communicate a lot while shanice was on deployment um, so when you say when you, when you say failed to communicate what exactly did you not communicate? like she knew that olivia was here she knew that i like when for Olivia first came here, it wasn't romantic. Once it turned romantic, I told like Shanice every step of the way. Like I told her when I first started liking Olivia, I was like, "Hey, I think I like Olivia." And she was like, "Huh?" Shanice actually told me, "I don't know if you remember, babe." He was like, "That doesn't surprise me." Um, but yeah, that's what happened. But I just I, even though she was in the loop, I feel like I could have done a much better job with communication. Like I have very high standards for like myself. Um, and I just know that I could have handled that situation a lot better, personally, as a man. And I, you know, own up to that and I admit that. And, you know, if that did cause you any, you know. Okay. And Shanice, like, what do you, what do you think, like, he could have communicated more for you? Um, like, Shanice leaving? Like, where do you think the communication went wrong? Uh, it was just deployment, that's all. Deployment? So he wasn't communicating with you on deployment? No, the fact that uh, I was on deployment, of course, we're going to have, um, you know, uh, bad communication is because, you know, I'm on the other side of the world and switching different countries and whatnot. Okay, so, and you guys said that you had talked about bringing other women into the relationship because you yourself, you you do like women as well. Um, so were you expecting him to bring someone who liked girls? Uh, yeah, that was the initial discussion. Okay. And 
when that conversation happened and then you found out that <laughs> Olivia does not like girls, was there any... Oh, before uh, they became romantic. I knew Olivia didn't like women. Okay, and then like, but you knew Olivia didn't like girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then so you just kind of, like, after that happened, you just kind of were okay with it? Like, you got to know Olivia and like... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, I had met Olivia prior to that moment, um, so there's that. And when you say, like, again, the communication, so he's saying the communication, he didn't do a good job communicating with you, but you're mm -hmm. saying the reason is because you were on deployment, so, like, connection was bad. Mm -hmm. Both. Okay. So, Sean, was it communication, like, the Wi-Fi connection, or was it that you weren't communicating what exactly was going on? Um, I'm, be, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I, you know, myself. Um, Ask about the King like, Kong. The communication was bad. The, all that was bad, but I could have, I could have been like that. Okay. Like at the end of the day, I really believe in making like excuses. Like, so I could have been better. Eat whether I had to get, send her a walkie-talkie and, <laughs> and, and talk over walkie-talkie, or throw a paper plane or flyer kite. I don't know. I, I should have been able to communicate better. Um, communicate was, what though? Communicate what are you communicating? Like it's a very the thing about poly is a very different. This is where I say I could have communicated. We we at first we wanted to get like a girl that we both were into, and then. I ended up talk, choosing Olivia because I, during like the deployment, I discovered that building with a woman is a lot more intimate than having like physical pleasure with the woman. So Olivia, I, I saw her as somebody that was super powerful. I still do see her as somebody that's super powerful. Um, and that's what it became more so about for than the sex. And I didn't really get to communicate that with her. And that was my fault. And I took full responsibility on that. Okay. And people are kind of asking about the King comment as far as Shanice. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad about that. Uh, for me, I'm very big. Like, I asked for three things. Love, I mean, uh, loyalty, respect, and communication. And for me, I feel like I just know Shanice and I'll just be completely transparent. Like, I have mad love for Shanice. But sometimes I feel like Shanice is in a relationship with social media. And the thing about Shanice, y'all see her and be like, oh, she's so graceful. She's so this. She cares what y'all think about her. Me and Olivia, we don't care what y'all think about us. We care about what we think about each other. And Shanice cares about what we think about. But Shanice is like, maybe you call it more mature. I don't know. But she's more like, she dresses up kind of what she says. It's not like a bad she's like thing. She's an adult. She's an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. it's just her style. So for me, I would want the support of my woman. Like, I don't want, like, my woman to care about what social media thinks about her. Like, you're in a relationship with me, not social media. So I just feel like if we flip that situation and a woman asks me, who's your queen? There's no hesitation. I'm going to be like, Olivia, Shanice. I'm not hesitating. I'm not, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to let some clown outside of my relationship change my answer or change how I support my queen. That don't even make sense. But somehow when it's for a guy, it's a problem. So for me, I don't like that. And I confronted it. I'm not mad. I'm not upset about it. It's a little disappointing because I want my woman to support me. I didn't she like is. it. I, no, it I, I love that. It, it, did, I love that it, 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 did, it did rub me the wrong way. But the thing yeah. about this is I'm never going to lie to you guys. Because if we flipped it and somebody asked me, who's your queen? Is this your queen? Are these your queens? I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to stand on the table for it. Absolutely, okay. those are my queens. But for her... For whatever reason, how the question was asked, she let it like waver her. That I don't, I don't like that. Am I mad about it, or is this gonna be a discussion for weeks? No, not at all. We talked about it. That was it. It's handled. Okay. And Shanice, when he said, when, when he said what he said after you talked about how you believe that God is King and that's your your religion is important to you, how do you feel about that? Like, how how this is the person that you've chosen. This is your love, and there is a disconnect on a little bit of like religious views. Like, how do you feel about that? I'm a lot more spiritual than religious. Um, and of course I do believe in a higher power. That's what I figured when she said think broader, what she was referring to. If um, regardless this, I do see my man as a king. Yeah. This is my queen. So my with, with all due respect, when yes. you had a chance to say that, why uh -huh. don't you say that? Like, I'm just trying to understand. Like, if you had a chance to say that, why didn't you say that? Will you have a chance to publicly support me mm -hmm. as your man and us be united rather than them trying to tear us apart? Why would you not say that? 
Cause, cause if we flip it and somebody asks me who's my queen, do you think that I'm a falter at all? Is there gonna be any hesitation? Or I'm standing on the table and I'm like, yo, that's my queen. What's up? So if I'm gonna rock with you like that, I want that same loyalty back. And that's for any woman that I'm messing with. Like we got a straight, like, we straight riding together. Like no matter what. Like, I, why would I want to be with somebody? So do you think that her calling God king is a... a that's, not, that's not it. it was a See, this is the thing. You guys asked loaded questions. She didn't say, is God king? She said, who's your king? And that was the whole point. It's a loaded question. You guys be trying to set them up. Mm -hmm. And for me, what I'm telling you is, the thing, this is why y'all don't like Olivia or why y'all have a problem with me. I don't care about being liked. I'm going to be honest. I never try to intentionally disrespect somebody. All I'm saying is this. If somebody asked her that off live, the answer would have been different. And at the end of the day, she's not in a relationship with social media. She's in a relationship with her man. That's that's the only thing that I'm saying. And if it was the reverse and somebody asked me, who is your queen? There's no hesitation on my end. That's the only thing that I'm saying. I'm not saying what I did was right. I'm just saying the type of guy I am, if somebody does something like that I do not like, I'm going to confront him. I'm going to be like, hey, this rubbed me this way. This made me feel this way. I'm going to communicate that. Because if you don't communicate that, guess what? You're going to hold negative feelings. And then you're going to be acting weird. And then the energy's off for the next day or the next week. And then it's just like, I, she, I, don't, think trying, like, I don't think she was trying to like downplay you being king in her life. But I do believe like, you know, she God is and religion and is spiritual for her, you know? So, okay. Um, let's yeah, see. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a spiritual question, and I think for me personally, oh. it could have been easy. Like, hey, this is my king, but obviously, like God is like you know above all. Like, it, it's ways to handle it. Like, that's just my two cents. And oh my for me, I'm ne I'm never gonna switch my answer because they're like social media or anybody else. So that's just my my two cents. And Olivia, so, um, your parents disapprove of the poly relationship. Why is that? Because they are, they're just both really religious. Um, and, you know, that, that's it. They're so how does religion religious. go against Polly? Like, how mm -hmm. does it go against, like, your... Because in the Bible, there were lots of uh, people who had plenty of yeah, wives. I, know. Yeah. I agree <laughs> so, with like, you. But the thing is about these days, mm -hmm. I, I agree with you, but the thing about these days is, like, people that follow religion only want to follow the things that, like, resonate with them. Mm -hmm. They don't really want to listen to it. They don't really want to look into anything else. They want to translate it and interpret it the way that fits their narrative. And if it doesn't, they're not even, they're not really going to even look into it. And Shanice, after hearing what Sean said, like, how do you, what, what do you feel about that? Like, what do you feel about like that exchange and how he felt that you saying what you said kind of, you know, disregarded him? Like, how do you feel about that? Um, well, of course, I'm going to, like, honor his feelings. I care about how he feels, and I appreciate him being able to be vulnerable with me and communicate. I appreciate him communicating. Um, in regards to, like, the topic, yes, of course, like, I could have clarified better. So I made, like, so I can, like, acknowledge that my love is my king. And, of course, like you said, God is above all. I feel that. And so, again, Olivia, this is like your first serious relationship? Yeah. I mean, what would you consider serious? Um, well, what do you have to, like, base any this relationship off? Like, how do you know, like, this one is better than your, like, what, what do you have to base it with? Like, what are your, what are you gauging it with? Like, how Good much question. experience you had? Um, I think it's alignment. You know, how aligned you are with the person. Like, I think the quality of relationships is based on alignment. You know, so, you know, when I think about, a, you know, a friendship, right? And it's going to be a low quality friendship. Like, I would consider people that I grew up in high school with a low quality friendship because we're not aligned anymore in certain ways, right? Maybe it's because they don't have the same mission as me or something like that, or they don't have the right habits. Like your ex, like you that grew with, and like you broke up with your ex to get with Sean, like, and you felt like that relationship wasn't serving you anymore, so this one was better? She didn't break up with her ex to deal with me. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm, I, I saw on like your uh, page, there was like a, a, a reel or something, and like there was like some photo slide, and like in one of them, you had a boyfriend. Yeah. When you had met him so, yeah that's right so then you like broke up with that ex or like you broke up yeah, with him so, so i i 
split with my ex because I saw that we were not in alignment. And that's my fault because I feel like I did a bad job of identifying what even alignment was for me. Um, so I didn't- What does that look like? What does alignment look like for you at 19? Alignment looks like somebody that actually wants to build together and actually wants to build a family and a strong family and want to build something great, like something that is fantastic and can help billions all, all across the world. That's what I want to do. That's the mission I want to be on. I want to be on a huge mission, a billion, a billion people mission, helping a billion people mission. That's what I have. That's what I want to be on. And, you know, that's just not, that's just not, that's just not what it was, to be honest. Okay, so when it comes to having multiple women, and so if Sean gets one of them pregnant, are you guys going to raise the baby? Like, how does that dynamic look for you guys? Um, I feel like it will be a team effort, to be honest. So everybody to mama, the grandmama too. I feel it. I, I mean, obviously not everybody's going to be called mama. That's, that's, that's pretty good. So what would, what would be like mom one, mom two? Like, nah, what nah. would it be? <laughs> They're just gonna be calling me like Queen Blank, Queen Name, Queen Chinese. So it's Queen. Queen. And then Dad Chinese. would, or Dad, or Sean would be King Dad. King so. Dad, a week. Okay. <laughs> There's only one King. There's only one King. So. Yes. You my King. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I have a question for the ladies that like get like bashing. Like, why are y'all so hesitant to call a man? a king why do y'all act like there can't be multiple kings there's multiple kings in the bible and we all know that god is above everybody so like what is so wrong with a woman calling her man a king like i really I don't think there is anything wrong with a woman calling her her man a king especially if he's you know doing kingly duties so, so why you know? do somebody why does somebody get why do why do why does it seem like people get so offended in the comments i see people like oh i would never call no i think people are, are are upset about the fact that when Shanice, you know, talked about how she believes that God is king, that you kind of took that. But that's, not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what it was, though. Like, I feel like that was just like a leading question. This is what it was. It was like, who's your king? Who's your king? Be, be wise. And the thing is, like, people, again, people are like, sometimes people can be easily influenced. You understand? So I feel like she took that and tried to, like, appease somebody else rather than just speaking her truth. And for me. Can you, are you trying to appease? Were you trying to please him? Can you let him finish, please? No, that's a question. Go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. What's your question? Were you trying to appease? Were you, were you trying to appease us by telling us that you believe God is king? No. Or were you just speaking your truth? It's not It's not that I was trying to appease anyone else. It's just that, like, I understand that God is above all. And, of course, my, my love is my king. Um, and I could have clarified a lot better. Well, that, uh, that, that shuts me up. Never mind. I, I, was, I was wrong. So, I'm going to just... <laughs> so. oh, I love this dynamic. Oh, you said what? I said I love the dynamic. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it, honestly, I feel like this. One thing I learned about in this relationships, I value now moving forward in my relationships, authenticity and transparency. Because in my relationships, I feel like, hey, I want you yeah, have three things: loyalty, respect, and communication. But also keep it real, show up. And don't quit because I would never quit on you. So I feel like these situations are definitely very like eye opening for me as well, um, because I know what it's like. Like the bigger you get, the more pressure there is from like the outside world. And like I don't know if you can really be in a relationship with somebody that cares more about like the opinions of the outside world than like the opinions of somebody that they're building a family with. I don't really think that that works, and I don't think that that's conducive to like success, to be completely honest with you. I think that's the number one thing that holds people back is listening to like outside influence. So someone wants to know like, so polygyny is like, you, you really stand next to it and you know you're billionaires. Do you know any billionaires who are living this lifestyle the same way as you or? Uh, do I personally know any billionaires? No, but I feel like if you go look at the richest people in the world, which is the people in the Middle East, the trillionaires of mm -hmm. the world, then yes, they do do this. The, um, the, the leader of Dubai has six wives. Mm -hmm. So you tell me what that means. But the thing is, he's not on social media kind of advertising it. All right, he's so what does that mean, though? No, that's irrelevant. But it's more like, is it... Because I've heard, like, when you bring other people into your relationship, you open it up to 
a whole bunch of like negative comments and you just yeah but see survive. here's the thing if your relationship is rock solid it doesn't matter so all of that negative comments and stuff that exposes stuff that's not real anyway because mm -hmm. if i'm rocking with a woman and we're really tight we're going to be really tight and that support is going to show mm -hmm. and i feel like anyth if anything it, it would save me mm -hmm. from like a future failure like I, if me and Shanice are not meant to be together, I would rather know that now than when we have kids and it's like much deeper. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't mean nothing to me. See, the thing y'all fail to realize is I'm not really married to either one of them. I'm married to my mission. What, women may come and go. I, my focus is my mission in helping people. Mm -hmm. I'm still, whether Shanice is here or not, or whether Olivia here is not, I'm still going to be here helping single moms all over the planet, helping college kids, helping people who want to start up their business, helping business owners. That's my mission. And I just got lucky enough gracious enough to find two people who wanted to partner with me on my mission. So with that being said, people may come and they go, but the mission stays the same. Elon Musk has had seven or eight wives. Like he's had seven or eight wives that he's failed a lot, but like, what is his focus? His focus is on mission, helping putting people on Mars and, and doing stuff. People know his mission, not like his family situation. People may come and they go. Like I'm very lucky. Shadish is an amazing woman. I'm not, don't take this as all I'm speaking down on her, but or or Olivia, I would never speak down on They're any of them. They're both amazing women. Like, if we're if we're not if we're if it's not if if we're not meant to be, we're not meant to be. That's okay. It's not bad. I hope you got nourishment. I hope you got you know whatever like gained a lot while you were like here. You know what I mean? So that's just it is what it is. So when you were dating dating Shanice, she mentioned to you that she likes girls. Yes. Did you know that was the dynamic or no? Yes. And when you guys were talking about a pol polygamous relationship, was yes. the conversation was to bring in a girl that also Shanice, um, you know? Yes. Yes. Thing? Yes, that was original. But for me to be completely transparent, I felt like it was a little bit low vibrational because I feel like building with a woman and impacting people all over the world transcends sex. Because me having, you know, you know, in physical intercourse with a woman, that's fun, but it doesn't really help anybody. I felt, I looked at Olivia, I said, she's very powerful, she's very able, she has a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. That's somebody I want to build and do life with. But you didn't take into, like, well, I guess, I guess maybe you did take into account Shanice because, like, she was okay with Olivia, but, you know, you were dating Shanice first and yeah. you kind of disregarded her, like, that, that conversation, you know, like, oh, like, I, I would never do. I would never disregard my queen at all. But at the end of the day, I'm the man, I'm the leader in the relationship. So everything kind of starts with me. And I think that sometimes men, their slippery slope can start when they make their life about their woman rather than their mission. You're, a man's life is supposed to be about his mission, not a woman. My life will never be about a woman. My life will always be about my mission. Ladies, listen, I, I know I say I'm gonna build the most beautiful and powerful family America's ever seen, but I'm never gonna make a woman my mission. I will do everything in my power to protect her, to empower her, to love her, to cherish her. But a woman's never going to be the sole focus of my life. My mission in helping people will. Mm -hmm. Women come and go. They Their feelings change. One day they want to be with you. One day they won't. Okay, But cool. not Shanice and Olivia. They are staples. <laughs> They're what? They're I mean, we, we, only, we only been dating seven months, so who, who knows? Like you're a staple you know? in the relationship, a pillar. Like you're, you're solid, foundation, oh, like, okay. can't be wavered. Yeah. So yeah. like that kind of I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, we're still new into this. Like, who knows? You know, it depends. She may wait, wait, may want to go and do something else. I may want to go and do something else to be completely transparent. Um, you know, one thing about, you know, Shanice, she's an amazing person. But just me personally, I feel like sometimes she cares more about being in a relationship with social media mm -hmm. than like being in a relationship with like me. Like I'm the one she has to sleep with next to every night, not social media. I'm the one I feel like she should support, not social media. I'm the one, we have to support each other. Cause like if they delete TikTok or they delete Instagram and all this is going, who, who is gonna be left? Mm -hmm. Me and you. And I, I don't know if like, that's like necessarily like real to her. And sometimes when that, like those type of situations happens to me, I know she said she didn't want to appease, but to me, the way I take that, I look at it as a lack of support. And that could just be an insecurity thing on me. I don't know, right? I don't have it all figured out. But to me, I just, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So do you kind of, you said like she cares more about social media and like, you know, there's kind of like a lacking, like her caring for you. Like, do you feel like, you know, like maybe because she is your queen, you do love her, you do care about her. Maybe you should allow her to explore those things or no. 
She could. Like, I would, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't bother me. Of course. And Shanice, like, do you feel like you have, like, a relationship with social media? Like, you care about it a lot? Or no, is it just, like, people just love you, so, like, you're taking it in? Say again? Do you feel like you have a relationship with social media more than you do Sean? No, not at all. I barely post anything. I barely go live. I, like, this is, this is most of my time other than, you know, being at work and catering to my man. Someone asked if you feel manipulated. I know you're gonna say no, of course not. But um, with the again, with the conversation about the goddess king, like and how you like switched your answer, do you not feel like you were suggested no. to say those things? My my answer wasn't switched at all. I just clarified. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Look. I don't think we have any more questions. I was just like all of it. I just want to say like both of you ladies are lovely and I hope that, you know, you just keep prospering mm -hmm. as best you can, you know. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> no problem. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Whoa, 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 before you go, you got a business? <laughs> So I am a gifted storyteller. I am full time content creator. I uh, talk about a whole bunch of things, my life and everything, and yes. the life of being a crotch tree and having crotch fruit. Yes. So yes. that's kind of my thing. Yes. But yeah, yeah, you guys can see me yeah. over there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Love to see it. Um, with that being said, I appreciate you for having on. Hey, and by the way, I appreciate your transparency. You asked really deep questions and you did it without being disrespectful. These are the conversations. We're all people. Love. At the end of the day, we're all people. We are yes, all. Yes, like, yes. I yep. understand the social media aspect. Look, not everybody's yep. going to agree with what you got going yep. on. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. And to my guys out there, I want to say something. Um, guys, in order to be a leader, you got to be willing to not be liked. It's not about being liked, man. At the end of the day, like, you got to do what's best for, like, the group. And if you're in a relationship, you got to do what's best for like your relationship. And the best thing you can do as a man and as a leader in my two cent is in life, whatever you can confront, you can handle. If you can't confront something, you can't handle it. Right. So if you don't have the ability, obviously, respectfully to be like, hey, I don't like this. I don't want to see this. Let's fix this then you're not going to be able to have those hard conversations in life, man. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If somebody disrespects your lady, you got to be able to confront that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, man. I don't play like that. Mm -hmm. Because if somebody disrespected my queens, like, bro, it's no question. Like, it's no question. Like, like, I'm not talking. I'm not playing no games. I don't play at all. So, guys, you guys got to, like, stop trying to be liked. I'm not saying you got to be disrespectful to people, but in order to be a leader, you got to be willing to be on like this may be if you're at a job this may be if you're captain of a football team listen man if somebody's not doing what they need to do for the team you have to be able to confront that 1000 percent. and guys i know we get like a lot of slack and they talk about toxic masculinity but listen masculinity is what protects society in times of danger who do people call a masculine man who's willing to challenge and willing to step up for what's right so don't be afraid of that a lot of people are going to try to throw salt on your name, but you got to stick to your guns, man, when it comes to that. You're, you're never going to be able to build a family if you're not willing to be a leader. Period. Well, y'all heard it here from first, so take it with I love face. your look, too. I love the glasses, the braids. You just look so cute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. You too, beloved. Bye. Bye. Well, I don't know how to get out. Bye. No. What? <laughs> oh, what? Oh man. That's crazy.